Information is power. You are listening to Information Man. Please make sure to subscribe to his channel. Information is power. Tell the truth. is the information man show what's up everybody peace to you i'm back with it all right information Information is power ladies and gentlemen all right i'm back at it again thank you those of you that have been supporting me i want to say thank you most definitely Those of you that have been checking out my second channel, the Information Man Speaks podcast, if you have not subscribed to that channel, come on and scroll down on the page of my my channel right now and you will find a second channel. Subscribe and hit the bell of notification. Now, for those of you that are arriving, coming to this channel for the first time, if you like what you see, you like my content, go ahead and subscribe and hit the bell of notification. Again, I appreciate that. Make sure... To those of you that are following me, that you check my channel periodically to make sure that you're subscribed because YouTube plays a little trick where they unsubscribe people. That's just the facts. But with that said, I want to talk about vaccines, the side effects. This is very important information. We know that Johnson & Johnson has just been approved just this week to roll out their vaccine, which is a one-shot deal. The other vaccines require you to get a first shot and a second shot, and a lot of people are saying that the side effects are Very strong. Now, let me just say this right now. I'm not a medical doctor, but I am a rehab therapist in mental health. So you must consult always your medical practitioners, your medical professional, your doctor to do what you think is best for you. There are some people who don't want to take the vaccine and there's some people who want to take the vaccine. That's just the reality that we're in. There's there's people that are going to be skeptical about it. That's just the reality, okay? You got to make the decision best that's best for you. But if you're going to make decisions, you need to be weaponized with all the information and facts as possible. Now, what I want to do is I want to put on the screen very click quickly with these goofy glasses that I got right here. Let me put this on the screen for you to see. This is an article that recently was published by USA Today talking about how the how the virus, the Corona-19 virus, is mimicking symptoms like you have breast cancer. So it's mimicking it. It's giving off these symptoms in your body, especially if you're a woman. And by the way, men can get breast cancer as well. Don't think you can. It's a fact. It can happen. But it's giving off these these, uh, signs hormonally as if you have breast cancer when in fact you do not have the condition we call uh, breast cancer. So that's something that you want to be aware of. You want to be on top of as definitely as possible as you can. And now let me do, let me do one thing. Let me put this up here because I want people to subscribe to the channel most definitely. So check that out. Don't be shy about subscribing. It won't hurt you. Go ahead and do that. Hit the bell notification as I said before. Now, and this is very important. They're recommending that when you go in for your checkup, your mammogram, that you need to call your doctor and let them know that you've either have taken a shot or you have not. Meaning they're letting, they're saying to people, um, don't get the shot prior to going to your doctor. You want to get the shot after. Because if you do, you're going to get a flash flag that's going to make it look like you've got breast cancer. Matter of fact, when you get the shot, 
this the vaccine, when you get the vaccine shot, the reason why it gives off this sort of mimicking condition is if you have breast cancer is because they're saying that the shot is very close to the armpits. Okay. The lymph nodes, we call it the lymph nodes, right? So you get the shot up, you're getting the shot in your arm, very close to your armpits. And what happens is the minute you get that shot, according to the science, they're saying because your body is building up antibodies, antibodies, that because it's building up these antibodies, it's giving off, it's doing what it's supposed to do. And that's the reason why you're getting a swelling under the armpits, as we call it, or what people would say, your lymph nodes, okay? And this is very important to know that lymph nodes in your body are nothing more than specialized tissue that allows your body to fight off affection, infectious diseases in your body. So it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a defense mechanism in your body, okay? But this is, mo this is very important. If you get a shot, a vaccine shot, this a condition of swelling under the armpits of your lymph nodes, this effect is going to last for about 12 weeks, according to all the data out there, for 12 weeks. So therefore, ladies and also men, because as I said before, men can get breast cancer, although breast cancer seems to be more, uh, you know, in women. It seems to be something that is often diagnosed in females. So before you get your checkup, if, if you get the shot before you get your checkup, you're going to have to wait about, it's going to be 12 weeks before those symptoms are going to, those side effects are going to start to go down. So you want to make sure you tell your doctor that you took the shot and, and, and let the doctor know of your concern. Uh, because you have institutions, ins the cancer institutions are, are becoming more and more aware of this. And if you have a good doctor, your doctor should be able to spot what's going on. They should be aware of the science. They should be aware of what's happening with the vaccines as it relates to how it impacts the armpits and the swelling under your arms. So this is very important. This is a side effect. There are doctors or medical experts that are saying that this is normal because of the antibodies. I'm going to tell you right now, um, one of the things that does concern me about the vaccine is the long-term effects of it. What, what are the potential long-term effects, if there's any? And this sort of report that did come out in USA Today, it does, it, it does make people say, whoa, you know, it will cause you to, to have a pause whether you want to engage in taking the vaccine because you're saying, well, wait a minute, it's making this happen. Now, the experts and medical experts and scientists are saying that that's normal for vaccines. But they're saying that with the with this particular vaccine, when it comes to the the coronavirus, with this particular vaccine, uh, with, with coronavirus, that is, is that um, it's giving a higher rate of the antibodies and a higher rate of you experiencing the lymph nodes and the swelling under the arms of the armpit. So. Anytime you take a vaccine of any kind, there's going to be obviously side effects and things that are happening in your body, specifically because according to science, and always consult your doctor to get more information on this kind of information. Um, and I got to tell the truth about that, you know? Tell the truth. Vaccine. When you get a vaccine, there's going to be side effects. It's going to mimic certain things in your body that are, fra are, are false flags. I'm sorry. And so that's what I wanted to bring to everyone's attention, especially for the ladies out there. You know, ladies, go get their your mammograms. You get your an your annual mammogram. So keep this in mind um, that you might want to get your. Uh, vaccine if that's what you choose to do because everybody has the right to make a decision that they feel is best for themselves if you are going to make that decision to get the vaccine 
that you need to keep in mind that you need to potentially get it before going to see the doctor or you need to let the doctor know that you have gotten the shot and realize that you're going to have this, these symptoms that mimic cancer or mimic breast cancer for about, according to the data, 12 weeks. Now, I want everybody to give me their honest opinion in the comment section of this video. I know there's people out there after hearing what I've just said and after doing their own research, they're going to probably say, oh, see, I told you so. I don't want to take. So everybody has the right to their opinion, but you got to also have that opinion based in facts as well. But give your opinion either way. Um, this is another feather in the hat that makes people say this is why they're skeptic. And so I just had to report this and let everybody know. Um, I want to say shout out to Lisa Calabero. I think she did a, a video on this as well. So I want to say peace to her. But uh, this is very important to make sure that we educate our, our, our community, educate our families. If you're married, as a, if, you're a husband, if you're a man who's married, you have a wife, then you need to give this information to your wife. If you have a girlfriend you're not married to, but you should give this information right over to your girlfriend, whoever you're involved with, you should just be aware. If you want to reference this for more information, you definitely want to check out the USA Today article, how the, one of the side effects of the vaccine is that it can mimic symptoms of breast cancer when you don't even have breast cancer simply because of the lymph nodes are under the armpits, as I said before, will begin to swell up. This will last for about 12 weeks. Doesn't sound like fun to me. And according to the data, it's because of the, the buildup in your antibodies that are doing what they're supposed to do to get rid of the invader, which would be the virus. Everything I said is based in fact-based science and data. So you give you uh, give your opinion about this video, make a comment, whatever your thoughts are, whatever your concerns about what I've just uh, have um, information that I've provided that you can do research on. I hope everyone's doing well. I'll be back on with more uh, video live streams as well and interviews with people. And I'll probably end up doing short little videos like this every now and then too. So take care, everybody. I appreciate your, uh, your support. This is the Information Man and the Information Man show, and I'm, I'm signing out right now. Take care and um, peace. Peace, everybody. The Information Man show.